Gentlemen, thank you for joining me today on today's press conference. Coach Badlock, we're going to start with you as you and your team get prepared to go into the GOVC Championship. Uh, what will this experience be like for SJC as well as yourself? Well, this is, for myself, uh, it's kind of inconsequential. It's, I played in two as a player when I was here, and this is my tenth overall. And this will be more than likely uh, our last appearance uh, in the Conference Championship. It's my favorite event. It holds a special place in my heart. It, it has always kind of stepped things up a little bit in terms of its presentation and how it's set apart from the regular season. And uh, you can erase a, a bad season or it may be a frustrating season weather-wise or play-wise in, in one weekend if you just play good because everything's at stake this weekend and you can make or break yourself with just one good week. And that, I think that's the kind of the dynamic Golf, we don't get a one and done. This is it. You know, we, we if we win, we go we'll go we go on and play. If we don't, then we go home and we think about the season and maybe get ready for next year or think about the memories that we had. And uh, I've always uh, I've always had many emotional moments at this conference championship. We've had some thrills and we we've had that rush of adrenaline. And I uh, I overly formalized my uh, flying up submission this uh, week uh, just because of the importance of this event. Uh, Blake, for you, what does uh, the GOVC championship do that makes it stand apart for the rest from the rest of the season? Uh, there's uh, so many. It's just a special. I mean, it's it builds up like the whole year. Like everybody look for, looks forward to conference. If it's the just the flags when it says GOVC on them, or just everything, just the feel when you come into the parking lot, it's different. And how you're announced, self diversity. There's just a different feel, and you get a little bit more nervous, but more excited at the same time for an event like that. As you get ready to go into this event, what would you say is the strength of the team, and what has really provided motivation for you and your teammates going into this weekend? I think a big strength for us this year than any other year is we're more, we have more firepower than I think we've ever had. Like all of us are, are capable of making eagles and birdies, which is what you need at this conference in this conference. And would you say that you prepare differently heading into this week or do you have a routine that you're set in and you're just going to stick to it? We, we've basically had a pretty good routine throughout everybody. Like working, I know this week was big on short game and making three footers, trying to get up and down. So usually we have a certain game plan for the golf course, but everybody knows usually what they need to work on as well too. So we're all sharp heading into this week. Uh, going into the final golf GLVC championship for not only yourself but also St. Joseph's College, looking back at the evolution of the team and the evolution of yourself as a player, how would you say that kind of transition has occurred as far as you've seen? Well, I know coming in my freshman year, like Grant and I were making sure that we built for this year and the help with Coach bringing out more players and stuff as well. But we want to make sure that we worked hard every year to make sure that we were building for this year. And obviously we didn't know this was last year for us as a school, but for me and G, it's our last year, and we want to make sure that we're ready to go. Uh, gentlemen, as you know, we usually like to conclude these press conferences a little bit more of an entertaining side of things to get to know our student athletes and coaches. So Coach Badalak, question for you. If you were to see Blake on America's Got Talent, what talent would you like to see him perform? Uh... Probably stylist, the styling hair. I think. Uh, I think uh, in an informal survey, he uh, probably checks his hair out roughly 340,000 times a day, um, which is pretty impressive. Um, right now, we, I can see him doing it in the lens cap, um, where he will probably wants to adjust uh, adjust his hair at the current moment. Do you think that that would get him? Do you think that would get Simon Cowell's attention? I think it would get his attention, I don't know, in a positive sure. fashion. <laughs> and then Blake. Blake would tell you he'd be hypnotized by his, by his flowing red hair. <laughs> Blake, if you were to see a TV movie made about your team, who would you cast as yourself and who would you cast to play Coach Badalak? <laughs> what? Uh, myself and Coach. Do I have to describe the movie? Or just the just, actors? Just the actors. Just the actors. Oh, I think uh, Scott Eastwood's got a pretty good set, like good, pretty good hair. So I'd say him for me. And then I don't even, I don't even know for gosh, that's a tough one. There could be 
I'd like to see, uh, what's his name? The Griswolds. Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase. Chevy Chevy Chase. Chase. Yeah. yeah. Clark Griswold. Yeah. <laughs> that's pre that's, that might be pretty good. That yeah. might be one of the best ones I've heard. It's I've always, you know, like Gary Busey would have been, been good but for myself, but I can see that one's that a lot better. <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you for joining me today, and good luck as you go into your championship event. Thanks, thank Patrick.